Hey guys, what's going on? So I know it's been a little bit since I put up a video. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it in my voice, but uh, I actually ended up getting COVID. So <laughs> I've been kind of out of commission for uh, for a little while here. Um, but I have been interacting and responding with everybody through comments and, and text messages and Facebook messages and anywhere you guys get a hold of me. So hopefully you all, you're all doing well uh, as you're heading through. Um, finally getting out of the woods of this, so it's good. But uh, somebody brought up something last night that I wanted to address. And um, it's really... I thought it was kind of clear, but at the same time, if it's not, I want to make sure that there is some clarity with this. Um, one of the big things that uh, people, when they come to my page and things like that, I, I share basically anything that happened during the process of onboarding with NS and, and what the pay is like and what the culture's like and all those kind of things. And um, one gentleman had sent me a message last night and let me know that uh, a lot of people going through ground school and stuff were crediting me with being able to get them through, you know, all the, uh, all the material and, and getting them through school, um, which is great to hear. I, that's kind of the point. That's, that's what I wanted, wanted to have happen. Um, but outside of that, the one thing that people are mentioning is that there's kind of an unrealistic expectation being set um, because I shared what the folks at my home terminal at the time were uh, making in a year. And, and basically how that was set up and, and what you could stand to make. Um, and, and that's based on that location. Um, I thought that was kind of clear, but it, I guess at the same time, it's not. When you guys start out, you're going to get your guaranteed minimum. Um, your guaranteed minimum is $52,000 a year. It's 75%. It goes up 5% every year until you reach your maximum of 100 at 63.5. Um, some locations are busier than others, which means those busy locations are going to make more money. Um, so to get into those higher, you know, brackets of, of income, um, sometimes it's a matter of, uh, doing a couple of things. First off, gaining seniority and putting yourself in a position to bid on better jobs with better, um, schedules and, and, and better income. Um, the other thing is, is you may put yourself in a position where you want to transfer locations where they they need more help or, um, it's a busier place where you can make more money. Um, you maybe want to put yourself onto a go team after your first year where you can go to the locations that absolutely need people and they pay a stipend to send you to that location for that one year commitment. Uh, those are all ways to get those higher levels, uh, when you go through. If you're working at a small terminal that's only servicing a few industries, uh, you're going to have a hard time, uh, you know, clearing, you know, 75, 80, 100, that kind of thing. I mean, you're probably going to stay somewhere between 70, between 60 and 70 if you're only working a couple of days a week or only working yard jobs, that kind of thing. Um, so it's sort of based on the amount of sacrifices you're willing to make. Uh, in order to do that, and also the luck of the draw based on where you applied. Um, so you can absolutely move terminals at any point in time um, after your first year and, and decide what you want to do, whether it's for more money, a better schedule, etc. Um, and people do that all the time, and you'll do that throughout your entire career based on your based on your seniority. Um, but those are decisions that you have to make. Uh, so just to make sure that the expectations are where they're supposed to be, when you start out as a conductor for a class one, the guaranteed minimum is the guaranteed minimum. I mean, whether you work one day a month or you work, you know, 20 days out of that month or more, your guaranteed minimum is that $52,000. Now, in addition to that, the more you work, the more money you're going to make. Uh, that's put there as a safeguard to make sure that you make no less than that. The thing that was a little bit strange and that kind of stood out to me is that the, the comment was kind of made that somebody went there and they took the job expecting to make X amount of dollars and then they ended up leaving and going to work at Walmart. Well, if you're making that decision, that's not based on pay disparity. That's that's something happened during that job. You, there's no reason that you would leave a job that is guaranteeing you 52k to go work at Walmart for 17, 18 dollars an hour part time. Um, that that just doesn't make logical sense. If you made that decision, something happened there. Um, the other thing they brought up too is that um, folks are quitting and they're losing CTs over and over and over again. Absolutely, that that happens all the time. Um, CTs get into this and, and one of the biggest things is to find out if it's for you and you never are going to know that until you actually get out there 
try it and, and see if it works for you and your family. The one thing that they will never train you on, no matter how many classes that you go to or how many days of training you go through, is how to manage your life and your family around the schedule that the railroad provides. That's going to be something that only you and your family are going to be able to figure out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, there's the big thing with my content has always been to give you guys the opportunity to make what some of these guys are making. And in the same conversation that I just had with that guy, he let me know that his cousin is looking to make 180K this year. Great, that's awesome. I The point of what I do is to give people the ability to chase that option, uh, to be able to put themselves in a position to make that kind of money based on the sacrifices they're willing to make, the luck of the draw, and, and really what cards are being dealt to them in the process. Um, your decision to stay or not is going to be based on what's best for you and your family. And that's something that I can never know. So uh, all I can show you is what is possible um, and also what is guaranteed. So what is possible is, is the high end of things and what is guaranteed is what you'll make no matter what. Um, so the day that you apply for this position, your application has the, the guaranteed minimums for your position no matter where you are in the country. And the maximums are going to be every conversation that you have with anybody that's ever worked in that industry uh, that can let you know what they've made in a year. So I hope that clears it up a little bit. Um, I don't want to set any false expectations with that. I mean, it, it, when it comes down to it, it, it's simply a matter of how busy that terminal is and how much they need the assistance at that time. And there's going to be opportunities to put yourself in better positions. Also, when you become a conductor, the goal there is not to just stay a conductor forever. At some point, you're going to want to put yourself into a position to head to engine school and become an engineer, uh, get RCO certified or, or anything else that's going to increase your pay and also give you a better schedule as far as quality of life. Uh, outside of that, if you guys are interested in the railroad, but you don't really want to deal with as much of a culture shock when it comes to the schedule. Look at, at some of the other areas of TNE or, or CNS. Uh, and, and get into signals, um, you know, signal maintenance and things like that. I mean, the pay is not necessarily as good, but uh, sometimes it is. And, and it also comes with the benefit of a better schedule and a more predictable schedule anyway. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Uh, any other questions, by all means, let me know. I'm more than happy to have those conversations with you. But I wanted to make sure that I cleared that up. Uh, if you guys are going, I, 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 my goal is always just to give you the opportunity to put yourself in a position to make as much money as possible, enjoy a career that that um, maybe you respect and, and you think your family will respect as you head on and um, to get really mainly just to get you through that conductor training school because it's the biggest hurdle for most people. They get into the the thought process of joining the railroad and then they tell them, hey, there's going to be testing. There's going to be uh, medical testing that has to happen. There's going to be physical testing that has to happen. There's going to be knowledge and maybe they're, they're weren't so great in school. Um, all those kind of things. My job is to make sure that I explain those things clearly, get you over that hump, and at least get you through the process so that you can get in yourself in a position to be marked up as a conductor with a class from the railroad. Nothing else. That's that's my only goal. Um, so, uh, and I'm not sure if it's ever been clear, but I, I don't get paid to do these videos. I do this out of the respect for the uh, over 30 years that my grandfather was paid from the railroad and it managed to take care of our family and continues to take care of our family after he has passed. Uh, they're still receiving pensions from my grandmother and, and my uncle who is special needs is still receiving uh, a secondary pension uh, from that process because he's still a dependent. So everybody's family situation is different. Uh, the benefits of the railroad are going to be different for everybody. Um, but in the end, my only goal is to give you guys the opportunity to try. That's it. If it doesn't work out, I, I do apologize, and, and hopefully you'll find something that you really dig. But uh, for those of you that are really into the railroad and, and this is something you want to do, that's what I'm here for. Any questions, put them down below. Reach out to me on Facebook. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to try to kick the rest of this COVID and, uh, and get back to things. I'll talk to you soon.